I'm Jessica Urbina, and I'm co-founder and uh, CEO of Infinite Elements. So I was at NASA for many years, and my research was specifically on how to get resources from the moon or Mars. And so we were using bacteria to do that. And so we thought, hey, we can apply this kind of technology to issues on Earth now. So what we do is apply these kind of micro microorganisms, enzymatic processes to get these metals and uh, it lowers the cost and it lowers the carbon footprint and it extends the life of mines so that we don't have to mine additional um, for additional metals. I did work on this from like 2008 until I graduated from um, my PhD in 2018. So that was 10 years. After that, there was a government shutdown, a hiring freeze, so I couldn't get hired for my uh, position after uh, my PhD. After some time thinking about it, I thought, well, nobody else is going to pick up on this work that I've done for 10 years. Uh, I decided to start the company, recruited my old NASA buddy. He's a co-founder, recruited now um, another co-founder who brings in the business aspect. And so uh, we've had good you know, government funding from the Department of Energy and from venture capital. So we went back to San Francisco and the investors really wanted us to stay there. I really didn't want to. I wanted to come back home. I wanted to do something for, for our region. We settled back in El Paso in January, 2023. So now we've got a lab space, right, at the MCA, the Cardwell Collaborative, that is, you know, subsidized um, through their through their foundation. About six months later, we were notified that we were awarded space at the Innovation Factory. Scaling it to ton scale at the Innovation Factory is a huge milestone for us. It says, look, this is viable, not just in a test tube, but at a ton scale. And we can recover these kind of materials. E-waste we can handle easily here at the Innovation Factory. And another really exciting milestone has been to move into the mining industry. So that's the most exciting part for me, is that we're doing things differently now. We can do things differently, not as destructive, not as energy intensive, not as carbon intensive. This is stuff that happens at room temperature with living organisms and so non-toxic. And I think it, this my ultimate goal is to really have an impact at that scale to make a difference, you know, kind of decarbonizing that heavy industry. And locally, we're collaborating with UTEP, professors at UTEP from different departments. We've written grants together. We take on internships. We work together on, um, on developing the R&D, on developing the workforce, right, as you know, as we train students as well. The mentorship that we've gotten from the city as well. So like Ellen Smythe from the Environmental Services is one of our mentors. Now we're also writing grants together. Grants that would, you know, would benefit the city and the region as well. And so that's what we're doing at the Innovation Factory through the partnership with the Economic Development uh, at the City of El Paso, Environmental Services at the City of El Paso, and uh, University of Texas, UTEP. It's allowed for a lot of growth for the company.